Hi, in this first video I'm gonna show you everything about interface of RDWorks. This software interface is very simple and you can get familiar with it in short time. But I wanna show you all kind of ways that you can use to modify or make usable and understandable for you. Almost every tool in RDWorks available on screen by default, but you can hide them or change positions. Let's check what you can find here. On top side you can see main menu where you can find all features of Erdeworks including tools that you are seeing on screen and settings. Below main menu you will see toolbar where you can find most commonly used tool like open, save, import and similars. Below this toolbar, you can see features toolbar where you see some active tools and some unactive tools. Unactive tools will be available when you will select one tool or object to edit. For instance, as you can see dimension field unactive. They will be available when you will select any drawn object. By the way, all tools group it based on their purpose and you can change this group position by taking from right side of them and put them to any place that you want or you can make them float. On the left side you will see toolbar where all drawn and modifying tools available. This panel also movable. If you wanna hide some of the toolbars or accidentally you will close some of them you will able to restore them from top menu View drop down menu. To the right side panel, you will able to control all action that connected to laser machine. From this panel, you can control laser machine, control parameters of send file, and some other features. You will get deep inside this panel later in this course. Below, you can see color panel. This color inherit not only for make object colorful, but colors are also playing role of layers in Erdeworks. You will see how it works when you will start work with laser machine. Well, the grid rectangle on the center of software is the working space. This space can be different and you can change its size and some parameters. By default, this working space dimension is 1200mm to 800mm. Of course, you will need to change it to the dimension of your laser machine table. Let's check parameters of the working space. To do that, go to top menu, configuration and page settings. In open ad window, you can change dimension of the space. These dimensions must be equal to your working table on your laser machine. If your laser machine moving up and down, then you can check this option and enter parameter here. Here you can also control view of grid and color of working space elements. In cable section, you can set parameters that will allow you move and rotate object by arrows on the cable. For example, if I will select any object and will press left arrow on the keyboard, my object will move to 10 mm as a adjust distance field. I entered 10 mm. Well, this is all for this video. Switch to the next video.